Judge Judy. Weekdays at 3 on WPRI 12. An inside look at the emergency departments at Lifespan during another COVID surge. Dr. Mitchell Levy and Dr. Stephen Traub this week on Newsmakers. Who to know? Local business leaders and their stories. Providence Picture Frame is the largest art and frame store in New England with an experienced team in custom services to enhance every client's space. In 1879, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and Albert Card started a tiny little frame shop in Providence that has now become Providence Picture Frame. One of the things that made sense for me was to not just do framing to the highest level we possibly could, but also to think about the other types of services that people would want. We can do everything from diplomas and photographs, but we're trusted with really high value or historically significant pieces. We have a standard where we do no harm. We want to be able to 100, 200 years from now have it undone and look like it was never framed at all. We also have the ability to create and ship entire collections, so we're able to do very high level art handling, which is a, a niche. In our digital printing department, we can print everything from wallet size to wall size. Sometimes hanging things on stairs or even a mirror over the mantle can be intimidating. It doesn't have to be our work. You just call us up, set an appointment, we come out and we hang it for you. People assume that we're expensive, and framing certainly can be expensive, but we are actually less expensive than the big box stores with the 60% off coupons, and everything is done right here under this roof. For more information on Providence Picture Frame or to be featured yourself, visit WPRI.com slash who to know. Only Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. A hot, buttery treasure loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and sausage or bacon. And to top it off right now, they're just a buck. A buck? Now there's no reason to go somewhere else. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Your town's website, does it end in .com or .gov? The answer makes a big difference when it comes to cybersecurity. It's very easy for a imposter to pretend to be a, a government agency when they're really not. Target 12 Sarah Grunelli discovers over half of Rhode Island's municipalities are still using .com addresses, leaving your town and you susceptible to potential scams. And uncovering why it's critical for communities to switch to .gov. .com concerns, Monday on 12 News at